Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Eugenia Kim and today I will share with you this beautiful, cute turtle pattern. This is for absolute beginners. I will show step by step everything so at the end you will get the turtle ready without any difficulties you can make of different sizes if you are absolute beginner i recommend to use a bit chunkier yarn that way you will be uh, more comfortable but you can choose depending on what yarn and uh, hook size you want to use so for the small one i use 2.5 millimeter crochet hook and for the bigger one i used four millimeters so if we measure the small one from tail to head is around eight centimeters and the big one is 14 but if you want even bigger you can either uh, make more rows and just proportionally multiply the number of rows or use chunkier yarn and bigger size hook actually these turtles they don't require much yarn so if you have leftover yarn this is a perfect project to use it and uh, it requires just to be able to crochet single crochet and that's perfect for absolute beginners uh, the pattern is easy and I will show you how to make the top part then you can make the bottom by yourself this one is also circles that I fold in half and the head had the same idea so we will learn the basic amigurumi technique so let's get started So for this tutorial I chose to use orange yarn and I hope you will see stitches very well. As I said this tutorial is for absolute beginners so I really want you to see clearly and to follow each step so at the end you will enjoy this beautiful turtle. So let's start with the magic ring. You have to grab the yarn, wrap around two fingers, make an X like this turn and you have two yarns grab your hook hook down and pull grab the second yarn twist now you can release the ring and put the working yarn yarn over pull through the loop and right now we are going to single crochet into the magic ring so insert your hook into the ring grab the yarn you have two yarns on the hook yarn over pull through two you have one single crochet insert into the ring two three you have two single crochet now grab the yarn two yarn yarn over pull through two three one more time i'm showing a bit faster four in total we need six so now i have five and this is my last one six Right now you have to grab the tail and pull it to close the magic ring. This was row one. Now we are going to make row two. For row two you have to make increase, means two single crochet into each stitch. So you will have 12 stitches at the end of this row. To proceed I recommend to use a marker. So let me take one for me. For marker I use just the contrast color yarn, you can use special markers. It's just to know where we finish and where we start, so you don't have to count each stitch. Place a marker and 
So we are going to insert our hook under both loops. One and, oh sorry, one and two. Grab the yarn, pull, and you have two loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two, and you have your first single crochet. We are making an increase, and an increase means two single crochet under same. So into the same chain, into the same two loops, you put your hook again, and you make another single crochet. Now we are moving to the next one, under both loops, grab your yarn, two loops, yarn over, pull through two, and make an increase again. So row two means you have six increases or 12 stitches. Keep making an increase until the end of the row, until the marker, and then we proceed. So right now I have 12 stitches, you can count them, these two uh, loops that make a chain. So you can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. And the next row we are going to alternate one increase, one single crochet. I'm going under both loops and I'm making one single crochet. And into the next stitch I'm going to make an increase. So one and two into the same. So into the same hole I make another single crochet. And I alternate one single crochet and an increase. One and two into the same. Then again one single crochet and an increase into the next one. So keep going until you reach the end of this row and you must have 18 stitches at the end of this row. Now we are moving to our next row and this time you must have one increase and two single crochet. So we are going to make first of all one increase make one and two and one single crochet and another one into the next three, into the next stitch. Then we are going to make an increase again. And one single crochet and another one. So as you understood, we have an increase and one, two single crochet, an increase and then one and two single crochet. That way you must go until the end of the row and then I show you the next row. So the next row, as you may already guess, we will have three single crochet and then an increase. So we have one single crochet into one stitch, next single crochet into the next stitch, the third, and after that you're going to make an increase. Then you are moving again to one single crochet, two, three, and an increase. So keep making until you arrive to the end of the row. Now I'm sure you can guess already, you must have 
four single crochet one two three four and then an increase so keep making until you arrive to the end of this row and then I tell you what to do next so after you crochet four single crochet and one increase you have to make two rows of one single crochet into each stitch without increase and that's how it will look like after two rows of one single crochet into each stitch without increase then you cut your yarn and uh, you crochet the second half of the shell the same way but without extra two rows of single crochet you will have just 36 stitches and here you will have just 36 stitches in total so later we will sew the turtle together and as I said one part has extra two rows of one single crochet another part with the long yarn that we will use to sew the turtle uh, you must leave a long tail around these lengths to have for the sewing there you don't need extra two rows of single crochet you just make four single crochet increase and that's it so so we have finished to crochet the shell and now i'm going to show you how to crochet flippers we have uh, to crochet four of them i will show you one and the other three you will crochet by yourself following this tutorial so it's all the same like we crochet the shell but they are much smaller and then we just fold the circle into two so uh, you have to make the magic ring as usual uh, grab the two the tail and wrap around two fingers make an X turn uh, grab the yarn twist then you can release take the working yarn and pull through the loop now you are going to crochet uh, six single crochet so one two three four five and six and then pull the tail now as usual you can put the marker you have to double each stitch so you get 12 so put two single crochet one So, as we did for the shell, you just make two single crochet into each stitch. So keep making until the end of this row. The next row you alternate one single crochet and an increase. So you will get 18 stitches. I'm a bit fast because you already know how to crochet the shell so in case you forget you can rewatch the slow part of the shell and the flippers are practically same but smaller so one and an increase so at the end of the row you will have 18 stitches keep doing by yourself and we meet at the end of the row and for the last row of the circle you have to make one single crochet then two and then an increase so after this row you must have 24 stitches and then I show you how to fold and make the flipper itself. So keep making until you finish this row. 
So now I have 24 stitches all around. You have to take the circle and fold into two. You can put this yarn inside. The next step, you have to take this, uh, let's call it the first stitch and the last stitch where you have the yarn. So like this, then grab the yarn and make single crochet. Then you move to the next stitch under both loops and the next two loops on the other side. So you have four. Copy can see well and then grab the yarn and put two so then again you must go to the next two and next two here and you just make half a circle so one stitch on this side and another stitch on this side nothing difficult just make single crochet by joining these two halves you go all through the two stitches so go okay and make the last three single crochet so here the very last could be a bit hard okay so now after we crochet we have to uh, you can pull it through the loop so to create the knot we have to cut the yarn and then I show you how to crochet them inside or to sew them to the turtle so you must have four so make the others by yourself so right now i have crocheted the head and we have to crochet the same way as we crochet the shell the only difference that you must stop when you have 24 stitches after you have 24 stitches you stop and then you make uh, two rows of one single crochet into each stitch without increase that means just one single crochet into each stitch without increase keep crocheting and we see after these two rows and i show you how to make decreases so after you crochet the two rows we have to start the decrease row now we have 24 stitches and after this row you will have 18 so all you need is to make one single crochet two and now we are making a decrease so you go with your hook under both loops grab the yarn and keep the two loops go under next two loops and you have three and yarn over pull through all three now again you make into the next stitch one single crochet 
then one single crochet into another stitch then you go under next grab the yarn keep go under the next two keep yarn over pull through all three then one single crochet two again go under both keep and the other one three keep and pull through three so you go like that making two single crochet and one decrease until the end of this row right now you must have 18 stitches and we are moving to the next row where we are going to make all the same but first you make one single crochet and then a decrease so make one single crochet and one decrease and you must have 12 stitches at the end of this row keep making until the end and i show you how to finish so right now i have finished i have 12 stitches around all I need is to keep the long yarn so later I can use it to sew for the turtle head and just cut the long yarn and leave it and then we are starting the tail for the tail is all the same but instead of six we are going to crochet four single crochet into the magic ring so you have to make the magic ring and make four single crochet instead of six one two three and four then you are going to pull the tail close the hole and going to make an increase into each stitch so it's all the same but now instead of 12 you will have eight single crochet so one and two so make increase into each stitch one and two and we meet after you have eight stitches for the next row we are going to make one single crochet into each stitch so you have eight stitches at the end of this row no increase and then i show you what to do next so the next row we are going to make a decrease row you are going to make one two four decreases so at the end of the row you will again have four single crochet and it's our last row and then we just have to sew the total finally and get the final project i'm sure you are as excited as me every time when i make the amigurumi i can't wait to see the final project final result of this amazing journey of crochet so you must make four decreases to get four single crochet it's a bit hard since you have little space here but it's possible once your tail is done you just pull the yarn a bit you don't have to leave long tail just short is enough and that's it cut the yarn and now we are going to attach the eyes uh, fulfill with hollow fiber and the turtle is practically done so now we are going to uh, sew and to uh, finish all the parts so you have to use the eyes you can use any type of eyes you have you can also glue the eyes if you want to i'm using safety eyes that you can insert inside and uh, here i already put them you can fix so even the little babies cannot get um, damaged by the eyes cannot get them out 
and uh, then you stuff them the head you stuff a bit and then you can add a bit more stuffing while sewing and now i'm going to show you how to sew we are going to start with the flippers we take one flipper and we place you don't have to cut or hide the yarn everything will be inside the toy inside the amigurumi so just place the bottom part the flipper and the top part the flipper must be exactly like that so the yarns must go inside and watch this side this chain must watch this side so you are going to take the tapestry needle and sew it around so insert here you left the long tail insert here one row down here and here we are going into the back here is your last row and if you see this is the wrong side where you have the yarn inside and we have this hope you can see clearly you have these back stitches the back stitches so we are going to crush uh, to sew into them so you cannot see the blue yarn later and all you have to do is to sew like that put all the yarn inside and you're gonna make three stitches with each flipper so here then you go to the next back stitch so it's here then you go into the flipper then here you go under both so like this and we made two stitches so my camera turned off automatically i'm not sure where i exactly stopped but i repeat that you have to make three stitches with the flipper so we are making the next one go here under both then inside here and the back stitch here and then pull the yarn so next stitches five stitches you are crocheting without flipper just into this back stitch as i'm going to show you here so we crocheted one flipper now we make five stitches and we move to the next flipper so here go under both one two then three so four and five let me count how many i did so i have crocheted five stitches and now we are taking another flipper 
and we place it the same way as we placed the previous one. So put the yarn inside and you crochet the same way as this one, three stitches including the flipper. Then uh, after you crochet these three stitches I show you how to make the tail, how to sew the tail and then we have just two other flippers and the head and the turtle will be done. So after we have uh, sewed the second flipper we are going to sew the tail. So after that, after second one, you have to crochet not five but two. So sorry I'm saying crochet but actually you have to sew just two stitches. So you go one one and two and then you are going to take and you are going to sew the tail the same way as flippers you make three stitches then you have two stitches here and you make another flipper then five stitches then another flipper and then you uh, have to sew the head I will show you so when you finish the last flipper you turn on the video again and I show you how to sew the head. Guys don't forget after you crochet the flippers you have to fulfill with hollow fiber the total. You can use, uh, I use IKEA pillow, the cheapest one and I just cut the pillow and take all the hollow fiber. You can use special one for amigurumi or you can use just leftover yarn or any stuffing you want even the rice uh, put previously it in a plastic bag so you can put some rice or stones so anything you want to fulfill the turtle fulfill it and after that you just have to sew until the end as i showed you before each stitch like you sewed here you sew here and then we just will sew the head on top put the eyes uh, between fourth and fifth row or you can decide by yourself how you think is more beautiful so we will see when i finish to sew this part i just wanted to tell you if you are sewing the first time you can sew the last stitch and then you can just uh, make a knot it will not be visible and can even do like that insert your to the loop so you have the knot and then just hide the yarn in between then just pull it and you can cut the yarn and it will never go out here I got a bit of stuffing and now I'm going to show you how to sew the head. It's all the same. We have to sew it all around this part. So is approximately you go here, make one stitch on the head and one stitch here and go all around. So the turtle will be like this. I will show you the beginning so for your convenience you just place then you take the stitch here and then the next stitch and the next stitch on the head so 
so I hope it's clear. Hard to show on the camera is much easier off camera. <laughs> then you just do next stitch on the head and next stitch on the body. Then again next stitch and next stitch here so it's very simple you just sew it all around picking up one stitch there and one stitch here here on the top you will crochet on these rows like this i always say crochet but actually you will sew it so it will have this kind of shape and keep making until you arrive here and we just cut the yarn and hide it in between the other stitches as I showed you before. So just keep crocheting if you want, uh, sewing if you want, you can put more filling while sewing the head. And then your turtle will be absolutely finished. So guys, that's it. My collection of turtles is growing. I really love to crochet them. I can't stop to make different colors. And as you can see, all the yarn, cotton, acrylic, and even the plush uh, soft yarn, it's, they're all beautiful with this pattern. And you can make any size and any shape. This pattern is super simple for beginners, but if you still have any questions, you can ask in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Thank you for supporting my channel. As you saw, YouTube added thanks button that you can click and support the channel and all my creations so I can share more videos like this one or anything you want me to crochet. You can ask me in the comments below and I try to make tutorials that will be helpful for your uh, projects. Thanks for watching and see you again next time.